What product vendors and brands need is a means by which they can engage with people on a level where their customers feel that there's integrity. If there's integrity, then people will engage, and if they're going to engage with you, then they'll buy things. Sponsorship and digital is the future of brands. There's no question about that. They're both means by which brands are able to get past the barrier that people put up when it comes to advertising. I think as a consumer, there's a lot of noise going on. I think people actually have an internal sort of ad blocking that they do anyway. People ignore adverts, they don't like them. People are fed up with 48 sheet spread, backlit display adverts they see on the side of buses. And the world has changed so dramatically and sponsorship is actually a really effective way for both brands and rights holders to communicate authentically with the consumer. This is a whole world of opportunity for people. If sponsorship and advertising is all about audience, digital gives us the capability through data analysis, but also actual technology and platforms and networks and communities that we never had before. There are so many different forms of social media now, and the rules for each are different, and the pitfalls, but also the opportunities for each are different. People spend a lot of time on their phones. The Facebook click-through rate is remarkable. People will just look at stuff because it's on Facebook. And that sort of thing is going to subvert people's usual aversion to traditional advertising. It's just fascinating. It opened my eyes as to what is going on as regards all the social media and all the forms in which people use it. The fact that brands now own this data, curate this data, and have the propensity to kind of influence consumers in a, in a totally new way that's never been possible before is incredibly exciting. Uh, and I think you're going to see a lot more brands taking ownership of this. The direction that the law is going with some of the more creative, non-traditional trademarks. The complexity and the variations about it is really quite interesting. These are not necessarily things I would deal with every day and it's really useful for me to keep them in the back of my mind. It's definitely worth talking about. I think the future of brands is quite challenging. There are so many new avenues and opportunities for businesses, but each one brings a new challenge with it as well. And I think the talks this evening have perfectly highlighted some of those issues. I think if you're going to associate your brand with any other brand, be it um, an event, any other rights holder opportunity, or a celebrity, you need to first think about whether it's the right thing to do. Obviously, commercially, the deal has to stack up. But then legally, you need to think, how am I going to protect my brand? How do you make sure that your brand benefits from this? And in circumstances where it goes wrong, how can you get out of it? It's as simple as that. If what they're doing is associating their brand with a celebrity, you need to be careful that when their reputation falls, your brand doesn't fall with it. So you need what's called a morality clause. You'll be able to cut your reputation and preserve it. For you to stand out and have real saliency as a brand, you need to understand how to do it and how to look after yourself because it's a very messy landscape. So actually the more you talk to people who do it all the time, the more you can hopefully learn lessons about what to watch for. It's really exciting to see brands take that chance. I'm very lucky to work in the sector that I work in. The scope of work that I have is so broad. IP and communications are fascinating because it's creative and it's fast moving and it's very real, people interact with it all the time. Being able to work with companies and to be able to influence their direction is really rewarding. It's great to be able to help a client bring their brand to life. It's just an absolutely fascinating business, it really is. I think the most exciting thing is really interesting bespoke events. It's when brands link up preferably doing something that's completely new. I came to the seminar because I know that Brown Jacobson have a long practice in brand and marketing and it's a crucial part of any modern business. This evening was all about education, meeting colleagues, meeting friends and hearing some new stuff as well. The advertising possibilities for brands is, is amazing. This is about aiming for success.